What's up everybody, Dr. Ray, and I got an exciting video for you today. It's mostly exciting for me though. So, my parents have been digging out my old stuff from my closet. They've been giving me all kinds of cool toys that I had when I was a little kid, and I'll show those in another video. But this, they found my Nintendo box from, let's say, like 1986, 1987 time frame. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to see what's inside this box. This hasn't been opened literally since I got the Nintendo. Like, you can see, like, I actually do have a Nintendo. Now, my Nintendo, funny story, was actually tossed when I was in college by mistake. Um, roommate threw it away or stole it, one of the two. And uh, this that's actually my wife's so this is the box for my Nintendo which is really exciting like check out the box like you can see it's um, we even have the price $120 on the tag here I'll show you each side of the box make sure we're looking at that right side up oh on the end we've got the NES Max and NES Advantage pictures <laughs> that NES Max looked so cool, but was terrible. The advantage was awesome. And then we got the back of the box. Make sure that's right side up. Yeah. Oh, so many memories of seeing these piled up in stores. And $120, like for 1985, sounds like kind of a lot of money to me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is my Nintendo box. So we're going to see what's inside here, because I have no idea. I don't think there's a Nintendo in here, because it's pretty light. But like, listen... Like, there's stuff in here. So we're going to see what is in... This box, I swear, has not been opened since probably the day we got that Nintendo. Um, has not been opened up. Um, it includes Control Deck, which I guess is like the system. Why do they call it a Control Deck? That's, that's strange. Like, this is the Control Deck. Not the system, the Control Deck. Huh, interesting. Then we've got two controllers, a Zapper and a double game pack of Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers, which I actually have right over there. So I have everything the system comes with. I have my Duck Hunt game. So hold on, let me just get my game. So here's the game that it comes with. It comes with Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers. You can see they were on one cartridge, um, but this was the game, the original game, Mario and Duck Hunt. Put that over here with my Nintendo. All right, are you ready? Are you ready to open this thing up and see what's in it? I'm going to be careful because I'm saving this box. This box is definitely getting displayed in my office. This was in my parents' attic. Like, it's so beat up. But it's, it's, first of all, it's retro. Like, it's so memorable. And it's not in terrible shape. Like, for being in an attic, for, and this survived two moves. So in addition to my parents keeping this box, they kept it through two moves for some odd reason. My dad's a hoarder, FYI. All right, so we're going to open this up and see what's inside. Looks like i got to open it this way, so let's see what's inside this. Or maybe not. Oh, it's just one big piece of styrofoam. Well, two, actually. Okay, so box is empty. So we got nothing in the box, so let's see what we got. I mean, I feel things in here. It's definitely light. It's too light for a Nintendo, but I feel things in here. Ooh, holy jackpot. Wow. Okay. Let's kind of start out with the coolest thing that's in this box first. And I can't figure this out, but let me just start out with the coolest thing. We've got a Nintendo gun in the pat in the wrapper. Wow, the zapper. And I have a zapper on my desk here. Um Wow, the zapper. And what's really weird is this came with an orange zapper. I wonder. <laughs> so let me tell you guys a quick story about this. So for some reason, I have this weird memory as a child. So we got the zapper, which is just, is just amazing that this came with this. For those of you that have used this, this is, it works so well. I was just having a discussion with someone the other day. We were like, how did the Nintendo zapper work so well for like 1985? Like it, it picked up what was on your TV and like worked pretty accurately. Like it was good. Like it responded well and worked in duck hunt. And we were talking about how annoying the dog was, how we like wanted to fight it as little kids and stuff. Okay, so we've got the uh, 
the gun, which I can't believe there's a gun in here. The Nintendo's app, just amazing. So funny story about my Nintendo and why this gun would be here. So I have this recollection of my Nintendo being burnt out in a lightning storm. So back then, like, I don't know, I guess apparently houses would get struck by lightning quite often. I don't know, but I feel like mine did as a kid several times and like all of our electronics would get fried and the insurance company would buy us new ones. So I think what happened, because I do remember having the original just Super Mario Brothers game without Duck Hunt, like that non-double one. And I also remember having an orange controller. So I have this weird suspicion that our Nintendo got zapped by a storm and my parents got insurance money and bought us a new one. And I probably didn't need a new gun. We just like needed the unit because there's no unit in here. So the unit must have been taken out. Okay, let's look at what else we got. Oh, we got the instruction booklet for Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. How money is that? Instruction booklet for Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt? Haha, ah, man, games do not come with this anymore. It tells you, like, precautions. Oh, this is great. This is a high precision, I don't know which one they're talking about right now, but it just says, this is a high precision game. Should not be, oh, I guess that just means it should not be stored in places that are very hot or cold. Never hit or drop it, and don't take it apart. Huh. Well, anyway. Names of controller parts. Wow. Jump. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers controllers. A. Jump. B. Accelerate. <laughs> I mean, so simple. How to play, starting progress. Oh, well, they have pictures of all the, all the characters and tell you about them? Man. Too bad games are all on. I mean, I love the games are all online. Wow, Super Mario Brothers secret tricks? What the heck is this? I totally never knew that that this was a part of it okay i gotta see what some of these are let's see bulldozer attack yeah that's not very chain reaction techniques top secret 50 points for each brick you smash several different ways to get an extra mario at the end of an area fireworks go off you get 500 points for each five and points are meaningless in this game by the way so unless you're like competing against someone that was the secrets I thought they were going to talk about, like, the Minus World or, you know, so, like the Warp Zones and stuff, but no, none. And then we have Duck Hunt. They show, oh, they show this cool little picture of the, the TV <laughs> connected to it, connected to the Nintendo, operating the Zapper. Yeah, because anyone stood away from the TV. You know every person was as close to the TV as you could be with the Zapper to shoot it. How to play. Do they have secrets for Duck Hunt? I don't even think there's anything you could possibly do. Compliance with FCC regulations. And then space for memos. I guess like you would like write in the back, like make notes. Like, did anyone ever do that? I don't think so. Okay. So we got the Duck Hunt manual, which is pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Hold on, I'll show you some of these, this stuff. But, We've even got some wires in here. Like I'm telling you, my parents totally, well, this was like to a different kind of TV connector. And this must have probably just been sound. Let's see. Oh no, it says audio and video. So it is audio video connectors. So we must have just had that anyway. All right, that's it for the box, but we've got this. Let's see what all is it, whoa. Okay, let's see what all is in this little baggie here. I'm gonna be really careful with this stuff. I feel like this could be worth, it probably is worth something now, but not a lot, but it could be worth money someday. Control deck. I think they do call it the control deck. This is a little pamphlet. Control deck, and I guess this is like the, oh yeah, like how to set up the Nintendo. Huh. Hold on a second. They're telling you about the cartridges. I just want to see if they say anything about blowing on them. Because <laughs> that's what everybody did. Nah. Oh, care. Let's see about the care and precautions for game discs. Do not disassemble. They have a big picture saying, like, don't touch the game disc. Do not store control deck on floor. Oh, man. We had, mine was on the floor. 
I actually was, I don't think I was really at a kid's house who their Nintendo wasn't stored on their floor. That was like everyone, don't store it on the floor. That's pretty funny. Uh, do not leave the control deck power on for extended periods. Yeah, when we like pause, I like swear I like paused games like for the whole entire overnight. Do not spill liquids on it. Oh man. Let's see. Oh yeah, they don't have anything. Uh, nothing great here. I'm just kind of quickly like reading through this to see if there's anything good. I want to see if there's anything about blowing on the disc. Nah, that was it. Nothing great for that. Okay, let's see what this is. Next thing. We've got, oh, Zapper. Zapper manual. So they, man, they had a manual for every single thing. Let's see if they say anything interesting about the manual Zapper. Care of Zapper. Clean the Zapper lens. <laughs> I like how they have to show you like, the pictures are like front sight, rear sight, warranty, 90 day limited warranty. I want to call this now, like, does this number still work? Pretty funny. All right, uh, warranty registration information inside, nothing really interesting there. I guess we didn't fill it out, we didn't have a warranty. Oh, and then I got two things. Both of these look freaking awesome. Let me start with this one first. Blast more power out of your NES with Nintendo Power. So for those of you that remember Nintendo Power, I, would, I have all, every, I still have all my old Nintendo Powers. I have all of them. But this is how you would actually get, uh, like you can see here, like they show you all the tricks for the game. Like this is how you would find like the map or the trick unless you drew it out yourself. You can see the map of Zelda here. Here's some tricks for Super Mario Brothers. What do they give you here? Oh, uh, they tell you how to get to the first warp zone. Oh, they tell you how to get to both warp zones. Holy jeez. They tell you how to get to both warp zones in this one image right here. They show both warp zones. That's like the person who bought the Nintendo, like all of a sudden just found out like a huge, two huge things. Like they told them. Nintendo Power magazine uh six times a year for 15 dollars i have every i swear i have it i might have missed like the first one or two editions of it but i definitely got it pretty quickly and i, I still have all of them i need to go through all of them another day um 15 dollars for man i would so pay if they were still had nintendo power cover price is 350 per issue which is 21 per year so you actually save six dollars by having it mailed to you yeah, I did that. I do have it. I have some cool stuff that I actually got, um, like, from signing up for Nintendo Power. Man, that's pretty rad. That's just a cool picture, too. Like, they, man, they did some cool, like, the guy's got, like, a space outfit on. Like, blast more power out of your NES. Like, dude's got, like, all these video games around him in, like, a space outfit that says Nintendo. Like, that's, like, I want, I want that jacket. Like, <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Oh man, I don't even want to open this up. This is like a poster. It must have come with the NES. Oh, it's so fresh and new. Oh my goodness. I've got a, I, this has to be framed and hung up. This is, oh my gosh. All right, so this, this is so cool. I'm like scared to even show you because it's so cool. So it is a Nintendo poster with some of the best games on it. I mean, okay, let me just show you quick and then I'll kind of describe all the stuff. Let's make sure it's completely in here. Now this poster has been untouched. I mean, it's so folded and fresh. I have 100%, just look at that. It's got, we've got the Nintendo. Now you're playing, I mean, now you're playing with power. I mean. I just can't even believe it. And then we've got games. We got Donkey Kong, Kung Fu, Duck Hunt, Tyson's Punch Out. I mean, they don't even call it that anymore. Super Mario Brothers. Oh, you know what? Oh no. Zelda 2, Zelda 1, Mario 2, Metroid. Yeah, so if Mario 2 was out when they made this poster, if they're pointing Mario 2 here. That one came out when I was in like fourth grade. So that means this is definitely an older edition Nintendo. 
that I must have had replaced because I definitely 100% had the Nintendo starting in maybe second, first or second grade. Um, it had just came out seven years old. So maybe that was second grade. I can't remember. I, I had no idea. I, who knows? Um, but if this, they're listing Mario 2 here, that means this is definitely like one that my parents, that's why the Zapper's still in here. Because my parents, I swear we had it exchanged like three times. <laughs> but it's weird that there's a, a gray zapper in the box. You would think we would have just... And it's still, like, in the package. So it was definitely never, like, used and put back here. It's not like I swapped it out. But I definitely remember as a kid, like, we had an orange one. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe I had, like, a gray and orange one. Um, might have been the, what it really was. But I don't know why this one's just in here. But, man... So this poster is definitely getting framed, hanging in my office. Um, this is, this has to get framed. This will be hung up. This is actually like just so ridiculously cool. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm gonna fold this up super careful. Um, oh my God, I can't believe my parents saved this. You gotta remember like we, we saved this box and we moved two times and they still kept, like what were they keeping it for? And the last time I moved was when I was, it wasn't like we moved and we like still had this, needed the system in case like a warranty thing. Like the last time they moved, I was like 17 or 18 years old. So like by that time we had like the N64, I think, yeah, we had just gotten the N64. So like, you know, we had the Super Nintendo N64. Kind of amazing. So what do you guys think? You gotta tell me what you think about this in the comments, but just amazing. I mean, to think that like this was in the bot, like this fit in, like how amazing would have been if I would have found a Nintendo in there, but no Nintendo in there or controllers, which I have a controller right here as well. But like how cool, cool. you can see like, ah. Uh, You know, no controllers or Nintendo. But how cool would it have been, would it have been to find some of this kind of stuff? But the fact that there's a gun. So I got two things out of this. I got an unopened, unused Nintendo gun. And I got the coolest poster from Nintendo. I mean, I, I would like to look up an eBay and see like how much that poster sells for. But like the fact that my parents kept it, the fact that there's still a price tag on this thing, $119.99, like... <laughs> This box is just so radical. And I wonder like if I should try to preserve it somehow, like put plastic around it. I mean, it's in my house. And the thing, the other, oh, the other thing about this, when I say it was in my parents' attic, like it was in their garage attic that was, I don't know, 20 to like 20 below zero in the winter and 150 degrees in the summer. And it's, it's alive and kicking. I mean, this is super cool. It's just rad. The most rad thing about it is I know that it was mine when I was a kid and like it's still here. Maybe I need to like save more stuff of my kids. I'm, I'm like big like not like I like to throw stuff away, but man, my parents are really teaching me that like saving this stuff and being able to look at it years later is pretty exciting and neat. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did because it's really cool to get to take a look at this stuff and see like what is here. So... Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed. Um, I'd love to hear your memories. Share them in the comments of what you like, anything you have saved like this, because it's just super cool and I'd love to see it. So later, everybody. Have a good day.